Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all seven collection chests in the Manor Cape here in Hogwarts Legacy. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to start, we're gonna head to the northern side of the Manor Cape, and we're gonna end up at a small town called Baneburg. Now, fortunately, we do have a flu flame here, so go ahead and take the Baneburg flu flame, and when you spawn in, you're going to be looking at a house. Now, we're going to go in that house in just a second. But first, if you look to the left, you guys will see a stand over here. If we go behind this stand, you guys will see that we have a little collection chest that's hanging out behind this table. So you can get your first chest right here. Now we're going to go back over here and go inside the house that I told you about at the beginning. There's going to be a level two lock on this door. So you'll need Alahamora level two to get inside. But once unlocking this, go inside and right to your right, you'll find your second collection chest. Now, after grabbing this one, we'll head back outside and go to the left and behind the house, you guys will find a little shack. We'll come over here to this shack. This will have a level one lock, so make sure to unlock that. And once doing so, your third chest will be right here inside. And to get our fourth chest in this small hamlet, we'll head back outside and we're going to fly behind this shack and over this direction on the hill. You guys will see we have another nice looking house. Again, this will have another level one lock on the door. So once unlocking that, you can head inside and your fourth and final chest in Bainburg will be right here on this table. Now, after grabbing the four chests in the town of Bainburg, we're going to head south to a small bandit camp. Now, if you don't have this on your map, all you need to do is hop on your broomstick at Bainburg, use Revelio, and this will pop up as it's up on a hill. It's pretty hard to miss, but just head south if you don't have this on your map. And once you get here, you'll see we've got a fire going as well as a tent. And all we need to do is take out the three or four ash winders that are hanging out around the area. And once doing so, you can go inside and your next chest will be right here on your left. Now, after grabbing the chest that's in this tent, all we need to do is walk outside and look to our right. And you guys can see that over here we have another bandit camp. So what we'll do is we'll hop on our broomstick and we're just going to fly this direction. You guys can see the multiple tents. It's only about 200 meters away, so it shouldn't take you too long to get over here. But once getting over here, you'll have six or seven different ash winders and wizards that you'll need to take out. And once doing so, you can go inside this tent here and your next collection chest will be located in the back. Now to get our seventh and final collection chest, we need to head to Henrietta's Hideaway, which is located on the very south end of the manor. You guys can see down here, uh, you have Henrietta's Hideaway entrance, you have a Merlin trial as well as a side quest, and you have an infamous foe down here. Now, unfortunately, there's not any flu flames nearby, so you can take any of the ones that are down here and just fly to the edge of the manor. But once you get here, you'll find a giant structure as well as a lot of enemies and an infamous foe. But once taking them out, you can work your way down this staircase here. If you go all the way to the bottom, you'll find the entrance to the hideaway down here. So we'll go ahead and go in here and we'll show you how to find this chest. Now, some of these puzzles can be a little bit confusing, so hopefully we can make it a little bit easier for you. To get through the first door here in front of us, you're going to need both of these blocks and put them on their designated locations and use the correct spell that it asks you to use. I believe one is already in here. I haven't done this in a while, but I think one is actually located right here. So essentially what you would do is light this up. This would turn around and provide you with one of the blocks and i think the other block is already in here if not you just do the same here but once you get these two blocks put them on their designated locations uh, use the correct spells and the doors will open then you're going to work your way down you'll see this statue essentially what we want to do is go through a doorway on the left here now this door will not be open if you haven't been in here yet the way to open this door is what we want to do is come back over here we're going to light this guy up right here and when you light that up, it's going to turn around and we'll have a little button. We're going to jump up on this button and go into this little secret room. Now, once you're in this room, there's going to be some boxes on the floor here. We can destroy these boxes and you'll see we have another little platform to put one of those things on. We'll turn around and back here in the corner over by these boxes, you'll find another one of those blocks. But what we want to do is use Wingardium Leviosa. We're going to carry that over here. We'll put it on the location and as you guys can see we need a fire spell so we'll use a fire spell here and what that'll do is it'll open the door outside so we can jump back up take this button to go back outside and then the door that i was talking about will be open for you now again it was already open for me when i first walked in but that's how you open this door here once this door opens we're going to head down and there's a lot of different directions you can go we're going to continue to go straight work our way down this little corridor. And when we get here, we need another block to put on the platform. All we're gonna do is lock onto the block that's out here and you wanna use Accio to pull it to you. So we'll use Accio to pull it over this direction. And then once it's here, we can use Wingardium Leviosa. We can lift it up and pull it through the gate here. 
Once you pull it through the gate, you can drop it on the platform. And again, this is another fire spell, so we can use the fire. Once doing that, the gate in front of you will open and you can get in the room. Now you may have some zombies in here you'll have to take out. For me, it's just one. If you've never been in here, you might have more than one. Uh, but take these guys out really quick using some fire spells. And once you do so, you guys will see that your final collection chest is located right here on this pillar. But this is how to find all seven collection chests here in the Manor Cape in Hogwarts Legacy. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.